Statistically, everybody knows that one in five will know somebody who's been touched by dementia. A lot of people assume that people's dementia journey is the same. It isn't. People are very, very individual. I think everybody has the same power to do what we've done. Because we've just looked at the situation and we've said, we need help. The funding is not out there at the moment for lots of different things to be put in place. And what we really need is people who understand The Havering Dementia Action Alliance has been going about six years now. The idea is that you involve the whole community in supporting people living with dementia and their carers. We are unique in Havering because there are 43 square miles and as I say we have more older people than anybody else. The whole point of what we're doing is to make people feel comfortable to live in the community for longer and longer. It's really about building up relationships with the community and with different professional organisations. We now have over a hundred members. The local acute hospital, we have two thirds of the GP surgeries, we have the people who are living with dementia and their carers. But we've also got a shopping centre that has a quiet Tuesday so it doesn't irritate people who go shopping. They've improved their signage which is, and put pictorial signs up, which is helping people with autism, dementia and learning disabilities, and people whose sight isn't very good, and people who haven't got English as a first language. So where we're going around trying to improve things for dementia, it's actually helping everybody. And they're very busy on a Tuesday because a lot of people like it. Our local bus garage wants to be a safe haven for people because sometimes people with dementia forget to get off the bus. And we work with the Queen's Theatre in Hornchurch. So these are top of the borough and the lower down the borough. We've got two places of safety where every member of staff has had dementia awareness training. I'm actually working with the housing department within the council to try and improve and future-proof all the new build scheme. One of our councillors at the local authority, she's very, one of our champions, and last week she did dementia awareness training for all the councillors, which has empowered them to feel comfortable with their constituents. Our members are very diverse from um, a couple of people who, who run a very small opticians um, to the largest big Tesco's that we've got. So all three Tesco's are signed up. Community police officers and most frontline people like customer services in supermarkets, they understood but they didn't really know what to do when they were confronted with someone who was slightly confused or asked some questions. There has been a lot of monetary fraud from people with living with dementia. Our banks actually wrote a banking protocol so the people who work in the banks actually can recognise if somebody has dementia and if there's any sort of suspect transactions going on. One certainly stopped a fraud of £30,000 from somebody this year. That's not a one-off story. It worked well for the banks, it worked well for the supermarkets. We work a lot with people living with dementia and we also work a lot with their carers as well. They are on the board of our Dementia Action Alliance. Our husbands have got dementia, so we understand the loneliness of being a carer. Felt a need for carers of people with dementia to be able to get together and talk um, about their problems, about the things that happen, so that people, you're not so isolated. We were meeting people in Romford who were actually crying because they had no support anymore. They had nobody to go to. Pam and I and a couple of other people, we just sat there and we said, well, we've got to do something about this. And then we just started. And it's grown from there. We've now got about 45 people a week come to our meetings and they're cared for going to another room. Um, we have uh, volunteers that look after them and they dance and they sing so they enjoy themselves but it also gives respite as you could say to the other people with the carers. We find that there's a lot of laughter goes in and also a lot of tears at our meetings. It's very lonely looking after someone with dementia 
and we also need, people need advice. What we have got in Havering as a London Borough, we've got dementia friendly borough status, which means that the actions that we've gradually built up over the six years um, have led to a recognition process by the Alzheimer's Society. We make friends, we do a range of other types of things to do. We, We've had a garden party this year, we've had a cream tea, we had a quiz night on Saturday. We're going to go to the dogs and we're going to have a Christmas party. <laughs> so we just try to do social things. Because it's very difficult if you've got someone with dementia to go into a restaurant or somewhere because you don't know what they're going to do. Yeah, that's quite true. It's very difficult. My husband's very good at taking his teeth out in the middle of a meal. When you go out with a group of people who understand um, that's the main thing, and I think that's the main thing about our group. People realise that we actually understand. If there's an understanding of that person's condition all the way through the hospital journey and back out again and then into the community, that actually makes life a lot easier for the carer and for the person living with dementia. And we can only do that because we have those partnerships. The only way this can possibly work is to get everybody on board to understand what the need is, to be fully aware and to be able to signpost to the right agencies. So it is absolutely crucial that we talk to each other. Talk to people who have been there, who have been on that journey, who's done that journey and who actually know what it's all about because they're the people that will help you. They're the people who say, this is possible, this is possible. Other people may sit there and say, no, we can't do that. But we say that even with people with dementia, you can have a good life and you can have a good laugh as well.